that. Now, one thing that I wanted to cover, because the family actually said it, is that they, you know, for them, you know, they're they're customizing the house, they own it, they're, they mentioned that they don't have a landlord. And as an investor, I don't want to be a landlord. Like I don't, you know, and that's the great thing with this type of a setup is, is not only are you helping, but also like it's, it's truly passive income. There's a lot of different things that are touted as passive income, but you know, nothing is absolutely passive. It's always gradients. There's varying degrees of it. This is probably the closest you can get. Well, the, and there is an interesting, uh, interesting point with passive, Jerry, that we, we like our investors, our philanthropy investors in housing. We like them to receive the fulfilling. So we give them a 30 minutes to an hour a meeting with their own philanthropy investor consultant in equity and help. They receive a report that is very complete of four pages on every single data in, in their portfolio. So they can be the CEO of their own portfolio. And that's a mm -hmm. concept that I created. The, the, being the CEO of your own portfolio is not necessarily being acting on things or doing things yourself. It's making, yeah. the, key, it's making the key material decisions. And the reason for that is because we want the philanthropy investors to be engaged with key material decisions. So he feels the philanthropy because otherwise what happened with people like Warren Buffett or, or these rich people, they earn, they work very hard to earn their money. Their money goes, you know, to the charities and the people that is putting the work in the charity and creating the effect is the one that, that gains the majority of the spiritual fulfillment. So we want the philanthropy investors to have both, to have the financial fulfillment and also the spiritual fulfillment that they, they make a key material decision. Like for example, this family is not able to pay because they had a baby or they, they lose their job or they just need to buy the school supplies or they have a medical situation or something. Now the philanthropy investor learns about that and he can speak with the philanthropy investor consultant, get all the information and he makes the key material decision. Like I will give you some examples on real life. Some philanthropy investors will say, hey, you know, this family is late for 90 days, but this is a very good intention family. They improve the home a lot. I understand they're having a situation in life. I am going to give them the three payments and I am going to take a, a tax loss on that three payments that didn't came. Um, another philanthropy investor may say, oh, I am going to send these three payments to the end of the loan and that's it, and the family is back on track. Or another philanthropy investor may say, oh, I am going to increase $10 a month for the next 20 years, the payment, even that the, the original investment, the investor re recovered in around five to six years, you know, the financing is long-term. So uh, uh, there is another philanthropy investor that may say, hey, you know, guys, I really need the cash, so I need your help. And we have a global philanthropic fund in my company that what it does is, it gives the money to the philanthropy investor. So the philanthropy investor is fine, is, gets his money. So the family is not uh, late anymore. And then we finance to the family at 0% interest rate for the next almost two years. Wow. So there is multiple opportunities. So this really is philanthropy investing. And uh, there is another philanthropy investor, for example, that will say, and, and this is part of the program actually, that will say, hey, this family make every single payment on time during the year. So we are going to give them the Christmas payment so they don't need to pay on Christmas so they can have an amazing Christmas with their kids. And including all of that things, including the late payments, including the, the gift for Christmas, including everything, the portfolio in the last year produced 12.71%. Like it's a $55 million portfolio. You see what I mean? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> So, so basically like, uh, and this is one of the first things that, that people think of, I'm glad you addressed that is when you're doing like private lending, you're doing seller financing. One of the first questions I get asked Ivan is, okay, well, what happens if they don't pay? And you just covered that. So really, you know, as, at, and, and there was another thing you hit that I want to go back to. Ivan had mentioned, you're the CEO of the portfolio. 
right? Like you're the CEO, you're running the, the, the big high level decisions. You're still, you know, actively providing oversight. But if you remember when Ivan said he moved to the U S what was the first thing he hired CEO, right? And so that's, that's an important role to fill. And so that's, that's something that I want to point out, but the other thing, and I want to go back just, just to the, what happens if people don't pay, you have the ability to, if, if you really want to, you can foreclose, evict, whatever. But what, what is different here is there's not a need to do that if you've got a good family there, right? Like for me, I have a company. If I have a good employee, they might have a bad day. I don't need to fire them over it, right? Like it, it just happens and people are people. And so when you're like anyone that's in the real estate investing space, vacancies and evictions are like the nightmare of being a real estate investor. And so not only is that like really not a thing here, but Ivan just described a way where you can totally avoid that. And when you do that, you actually get families that are eager to like catch up and they want to make on-time payments because you've helped them. And that's something they just never, they don't experience that with a landlord. They don't experience that with a bank. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprint of Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Hey, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call, and we're able to help out and answer questions. That's how we can help you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on and I will talk to you guys on the next video.